well beyond just on ice. So, you know, we focus on the overall player and family experience. The greatest uh, tools that we know we have in our resource is the ability to help frame for the rest of their lives beyond the Islanders Hockey Club. So, you know, the life lessons that they can pick up, you know, just the overall experience is something that they will carry with them for the rest of their lives. So something that we value and, uh, you know, hold with great responsibility here within our Islanders Women's Program. Good job, Red! Good job, Red Line! That's pretty impressive. Good job. Grab water, hurry up. When we look for things for our kids, we look for programs that are going to make things fun, are going to give our kids a good team experience and teach them the game that they want to play. So looking for a hockey program for our daughter, we found all those things with the Islanders. She had some friends who played in the organization before that raved about their experience here. We saw how far along those kids came as players. It looked like they had a great time while they were doing it, so we, we chose to bring her over here. Our tempo's fast, guys. Nobody can keep up with us when we play Islanders tempo. We have such an amazing group of girls here. Each one of you brings so much to this team. So if we play with the right tone, the right tempo, and we play as a team today, you guys are gonna crush them. The cradle to college approach works because nobody really wants to switch teams every year. Nobody wants to go find a new organization and a new home every single year. No one wants to buy all the new equipment every year. We have a place that your child can play from cradle to college. We have different levels for everybody. We have a home and a family environment that someone can enjoy coming to the rink for years and years at a time. No pucks in front of the net, okay? Use the boards. Absolutely. Don't, don't cut in front of the net, right? Benefits of a young athlete, U8, U6, U7, playing together with an all-female team is that they will learn how to bond better with the team. They're never really going to be playing boys hockey. The bonding capability, the working together as a team should be best formed when they're younger. They get older, everyone gets a little bit more individual, a little bit tougher to mold the team. I think that they're used to an all-female team environment. It makes it better for them and for their teammates if they've dealt with that from an early age. Let's have fun. Let's keep the puck in their zone, all right? Let's score some good goals, have some good hockey plays. Remember whose house this is. It's our house. Let's go. Who's got it? I think if you're a parent and you're looking to choose programs, I think something that would draw you to the Islanders Women's Program is our remarkable reputation. So we have a track record of a lot of success, of developing athletes, and just creating an overall positive experience for our athletes and our families. You know, so we have essentially a primarily female-led coaching staff at the youth level who have either played or coached at some of the highest levels that you can in the female game, which is something that is rare and that's unique to find elsewhere. Better, 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 better! Attack, why? I think seeing role models in their coaches is important for these girls and seeing a coach who has played the game her entire life, played Division One college hockey, played in the women's national program and still loves the game enough that she's going out every year and giving back by coaching young kids is definitely a strength of the program. Skate it out, work with Molly, their D is going to start backing up and now you've just broken the puck out cleanly, okay? People might have great facilities, which we do. They might have wonderful uniforms, which we do. But it's really the coaching that people come for. And I think that the coaching staff that's available to the young female athlete that Stephanie has helped assemble is tremendous. And that's what people look for, great coaching. So we're going to do the same exact thing we're doing, and we're going to add four checkers down low and in the neutral zone. You're going to continue four checking in the neutral zone when they're doing their rego regroup and attacking. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to play college hockey and it's been a dream of mine and the Islanders has made that possible for me. It started my freshman year of the recruiting process. Ever since then, it's just been constant talking to coaches and now I'm happy at the place where I'm going next year and I'm really excited. I've grown as a player and as a person. I wouldn't be here without Coach Steph specifically and all the coaches that have impacted me throughout my Islanders career. One, two, two three, Islanders! We've established ourselves in some of the most prestigious girls tournaments and showcases to help give our athletes as much exposure as possible. We have with our top U19 team nearly a 100% college placement success rate. You know, just very fulfilling for us to be able to uh, help a lot of our student athletes achieve their dream of going on to the next level. What do we always say? Dig your heels in girls, okay? This is our house, we're gonna finish this game. 
all right? Let's not wait till the end. Let's start this period with the tone and the tempo we started the game with. Let's play 60 complete minutes and let's kick their butts right now. Here at the Islanders Women's Division, some things that you know we instill within our program is a lot of structure and discipline within our curriculum. For athletes that are looking to join our program, you know it's great for those that are looking now for the next level. So whether that be the next level of coaching, next level of competition, essentially just more than what they're getting right now. You guys okay? We've, we've been in this situation many a times, guys, all right? We gotta get a quick one here. And then we gotta get a second one so that they know what's up. All right, cool? Okay, let's do it. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get the goal? Who's gonna get the first goal?